Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Today I want to do a quick video about my two conquats, the one on the right and the one on the left. As you can see, they're both in the same container. They're both in the same microclimate. Maybe this one gets a little bit more sun than the other one, but that shouldn't really make a huge difference. One is obviously doing a lot better than the other one. I'm not sure if you guys can tell which one's doing better. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to tell me right or left which one's doing better. This is the, le the right and that's the left. I'm going to count to three and hopefully by then you guys have put in your what you guys think is doing better. One two three <laughs> well as you can see this one is not doing as well as the other one that one is more green and it looks more attractive this one looks with some little yellow spots um, and it doesn't look as green as the other one okay so you guys must be wondering well what's going on first of all last year that one wasn't doing as well as this one and I up potted it and by up potted it meaning I pulled it out took the old soil out put some new soil repotted it and then it looked fantastic that one looked like this last year that one i haven't up potted it since i put it in that container which was approximately five years ago so but last year this one was doing fantastic it looked just like that one so crazy enough now they switch rows as you guys can see so what i want to talk to you guys about is when you guys have problems with your citrus trees you're probably wondering what's going on there's a process of elimination that i like to go through one is am I feeding it regularly because if you guys seen my videos you guys know that you have to feed your containers more often than the ones in the in the ground two am I watering regularly am I letting it dry out too much remember when they're in containers your fruit trees is you're the only resource that you they have available they don't have um, roots deep down in the ground where they can look for water so you have to make sure that you have a regularly a regular schedule of watering three Oops, three. <laughs> Do I have mulch? Are my feeder roots drying out because I'm not watering it enough or as often as I should? Should And are my feeder roots are drying out because I don't have mulch on it? Okay. And fourth, the last one is how long has it been in that container? Perfect example. As you can see, I water both the same. They both have mulch. Okay, I feed them both the same with my feeding schedule that I have. If you guys haven't seen that video, that's coming up soon. I'm going to give you guys a complete schedule of how I feed my, all my fruit trees so they can continue to produce and thrive. That's a separate video. Um, and if I cover all of those steps and my tree doesn't look as good as the other one, especially if they're the same tree, especially if they're, if they're in the same microclimate, then it's time to up pot it. Like I mentioned earlier, this tree hasn't been up potted since I put it in this container. So it's definitely time for me to up pot it, which is what I did to that one last year when it wasn't doing so well. And it was looking just like this one. If you guys are interested in seeing in the video, I'm going to link when I up potted that one um last year i'll put it at the end of this video so stay tuned till the end but for now i just want to show you the difference see how this one has a little bit of yellowish almost in every single leaf and this one is completely green and beautiful and thriving except a little bit of the old leaves but that's like one in a million here so that's totally fine so i hope that this video was informative i hope that i taught you my um, process of elimination when it comes to growing um, fruit trees and citrus in containers those are the four things that i look for when i am trying to figure out what is going on with my citrus or my fruit tree okay so make sure that you go through all those before you start panicking and before you give up on your tree and you give up on growing fruit okay if you thought this was informative go ahead and give me a thumbs up don't be afraid to share and comment i love seeing your comments and uh, i hope to see you guys in the next one love you guys have a blessed day Bye bye